Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. If I had Jagba and Iago Kaladze are ready to go having weighed in, I'll get to that in this video as well as a few thoughts on the fight what it means for FAA Jack, but, but also comparisons with Daniel Dubois, both fighting on the same weekend, but maybe slightly different pressures on the respective fighters at this point. And I've been thinking about that this week, and I want to go through it uh, in a little bit of detail. But first off, the weigh-in for this fight. So FAA Jagba, 25 years old, currently 11-0, and uh, facing Iago Kaladze, who has a record of 26-4. and uh, Those Three of those losses, though, against top-tier opposition. Position, Joe Joyce, Michael Hunter and Adam Kovnatsky and I'll come to that in a little bit as well because obviously some common opponents here for FA Jagba to potentially get a bit of a read of you know his power or a few different things with those other guys who have fought Kaladze but a Jagba 237.5 pounds four and a half pounds less than his last fight against Ali Aaron Demaration, which was about five months ago. That was in July. He fought to a decision there through a lot of punches. It was almost 2,000 punches collectively between the two for that fight. A Jagba throwing the best part of 1,000 punches himself. Uh, for this fight, 237.5, so that's his lightest weight in a year. So potentially this is actually an active measure they've taken, getting him coming in a few pounds less. Perhaps they were getting a little bit worried that maybe he was getting a bit too bulky. So he had been around 242, 241, and 240 for his past three fights respectively. Uh, 237.5 for this one. His opponent, Iago Kaladze, he was 230 pounds on the scale. So unlike uh, Ajagba, he's actually gone on up in weight uh, just over 11 pounds since his last fight which was against Robert Alfonso so that was back in May it was a split decision draw but for this one yeah 230 pounds he actually looks to me I thought he put on maybe a bit more muscle he's certainly not as ripped as he was say back in May and even fights before that where he's weighed just around 220 pounds or just under but he doesn't look like he's out of shape ultimately 230 pounds for a guy who's uh, six foot three you know that that's no trouble at all. He's still in good shape for this fight. But will this actually have any bearing on the, on the fight? Well, perhaps. Maybe later in the fight with the extra weight, perhaps he will tire. But will it go that far? I think the key in this one is for FIA Jagba is going to be the straight punches. I think out of the opponents that Kaladze has fought and lost to, including the likes of Joe Joyce, Michael Hunter and Adam Kovnatsky, FIA Jagba has the best straight punches, in my view, of those four guys. And I think to catching up with Iago Kaladze, it will be one of those straight right hands that does the damage. He's also got a very good jab, and I expect he will be using that. But Kaladze is a moving target. He's not a guy that's just going to remain stationary in front of FIA Jagba from the get-go. He might start to tire and slow down potentially after three or four rounds and that's when he becomes more hittable. And I know a lot of people are sort of th saying this might be a one or two round fight. I don't know if I see it like that because Kaladze is very game, he does use movement and he has thwarted other opponents like Joyce, Hunter and Kovnatsky for the opening rounds of those fights. And people forget all those fights went to the mid rounds. All were 10 round fights. Joe Joyce beat Kaladze in five rounds, stopped him. Hunter beat him in five rounds, stopped him. Adam Kovnatsky beat him in six rounds. So I don't necessarily think people should just expect that this one is over in one or two rounds. I think the Georgian fighter will give a jackbit something to think about. So this could end up being somewhere around four, five, six rounds. I expect he will stop Kaladze, but I don't think it'll be with the first punch and it won't be in the first couple of rounds in my view. But also Kaladze, the way he fights, he does give it a go. So he will be looking to tag a jackbit. And a jackbit can often be a little bit stiff. You know, the head movement's not great. So he is there to be hit. Ali Aaron Demaration, although he wasn't able to hurt a jackbit, was certainly able to find him often in their fight back in July. But I fully expect that this will be a win to FA Jagba inside you know five or six rounds I don't think this will go any longer than you know the Kovnatsky Hunter or Joyce fights probably ends somewhere there or thereabouts or maybe a little sooner 
What are your thoughts on that? Will Ajampa catch Kaladze early or will Kaladze be elusive and evasive for the opening rounds? That's my pick, but it's a fight you never know what could happen. And after, you know, taking a number of knockout losses and now 10 pounds heavier, perhaps that is going to be uh, beneficial to Ajampa and end in an earlier stoppage. I'm still picking somewhere between rounds four and six. But in terms of this fight for this stage of FA Ajampa's career, I don't mind it at all. I've seen some criticism saying he needs to be at a better level, but he's 11 fights deep, 25 years old, coming up one of the hottest prospects in the heavyweight division. This level of fight is actually very respectable at this point. If it was good enough for Adam Kovnatsky and Michael Hunter when they were even more progressed in their careers, why? what's wrong with this for FIA Jagber at this point? And this brings me to this, a couple of the thoughts that I've been thinking about a Jagber and Dubois. And there's key differences between the two at the moment and the way that they're being promoted and pitched to the public. Some of the sort of pressures that are on Daniel Dubois right now aren't there for FIA Jagba because actively Dubois is being pushed more to the public and in some of the statements from his promoter Frank Warren. Warren is um, one, he's headlining cards with Daniel Dubois, like this one this weekend where he's facing Kyotaru Fujimoto, a mismatch. But two, he's also making a lot of comments in public that Dubois can beat X fighter or Y fighter, Z fighter, etc. Saying he can beat a guy like Anthony Joshua right now. And that is the key difference with FIA Jagba. You're not hearing some of that similar rhetoric, not nearly to the same extent. A Jagba is clearly confident in, in his abilities, but him and some of the people around him are keeping some of the hype and the buzz at maybe an appropriate level for this point of his development. They're not putting unnecessary expectations and pressures on him at this point. So, and the fact is, he's also not headlining his own events yet, which headlining an event puts an extra layer of pressure and expectation from fans. And this is some of the key difference between these two prospects. You've got Frank Warren really putting it all on Dubois at the moment in terms of carrying a card, often in mismatches, but also he's talking him up to the nth degree to the public, creating these expectations where you go, well, actually, he's fighting this guy Fujimoto. It's not good enough. Whereas people are more likely to cut a Jagba slack, one, because he's on the undercard, but two, they're not talking him up to the point that you go, well, he should be fighting someone way better than Iago Kaladze, which at this point I think is an appropriate level of fight. So it's interesting how they're being sort of pushed along at the moment. I mean, really, they're facing similar sort of opposition. But I would actually um, have Kaladze knocking out Fujimoto probably in six to eight rounds. So I think this is the better fight of the two. But I think there is expectations that have been created, perhaps in pressures, unnecessary pressures on Dubois at this point, that are not there necessarily for FA Jagba. I mean, it's still high-level boxing and a Jagba is the co-main event. But it's there is a difference. He's not the main event and they're not saying that he can beat, say, Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua right now, whereas, you know, Dubois' promoter, Frank Warren, definitely is. Yeah, some differences there in the way that they're being handled and managed. And I think for this point, FA Jagba, I like the way that they're guiding him, right fights at the right time, whereas uh, the expectations are higher for Dubois simply because some of the expectations that are being heaped on because of the statements that are being made. But FA Jagba beats Iago Kaladze. What do you make of it? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.